a bit rough, Mole. Yeah, she'll sure, regret saying that. And as a matter of fact, I'll be catching up with Madonna. I'm off overseas again, and I'm going to see Madonna at uh, Madison Square Gardens at her invitation. But uh, the one amazing thing about Madonna, apart from the fact that uh, she's uh, got as big a mouth as Gavin and, uh, and Meatloaf, is the fact that she has now become <coughs> a quite a phenomena. Uh, if you have caught up with Rolling Stone, she's on the front page of Rolling Stone there. There's an, also an article inside with her about uh, Desperately Seeking Susan, which of course the film uh, that she's made. And in the back, which is quite unprecedented for um, for, for Rolling Stone is actually a fashion spread, and I'll show you a bit of it. Look at that, Madonna on the surfies. What do you think of that one, you two? Woo! Hey, not nice. bad at all. But on top, to top it all off, this week's Time has given her the front cover of Time, and this is quite unprecedented because inside there is a six-page article in Time of Madonna, so catch up with it. And as I said, I'll catch up with Madonna in New York, also going off to London to catch up with uh, Paul from, De from Peter from Dead or Alive, uh, heaps of others, Tears for Fears, you name it, we're going to catch up with them. All right, now, listen, I must pay tribute to one guy who I thought did a great job last week, and, of course, I'm talking about Greedy from, uh, from, from The Mentals. Uh, the Mentals song was just so wonderful, but Greedy, uh, from, uh, from everyone at Countdown, you did a fantastic job and you should be very very proud of it and they should also be very proud of their current single which is just gonna go up the charts like that and it's called well what we do all the time really everywhere you name it the Chevron the club we live it up Well, I tell you what, we all certainly know how to live it up. I tell you what, we're all still surviving from last weekend. Let's have a look at the UK top five for this week. And at number five is... At number five, Mark and the Bronski beat with I Feel Love. Oh, the little devils. Number four, Phyllis Nelson, Move Closer. How can you move closer between Meatloaf and Gavin? Number three, yeah, Jimmy oh. Nail. Oh, I'm sorry. The, I love Don't. Oh, I missed that one completely. Two, Duran Duran, A View to Kill from the James Bond movie. And at number one, Paul Hardcastle with 19. All right, that was Paul Hardcastle at 19. Still number one and one of the biggest selling records in the UK. And as I said last week, we certainly pay tribute to uh, Red Gum for writing I Was Only 19. I mean, over two years ago, I also applaud Red Gum, which I didn't quite get out last week, that all their proceeds went to the Vietnam War Veterans Fund. So congratulations to them. All right, one guy you may have thought that has slipped off the charts and gone forever is Rick Springfield. And quite frankly, I don't think radio and the media here get behind this artist as they should. It's not because he was an Australian or a former Australian, it's because he is a very fine artist. And this album is total proof of that. It's called Teo, and believe me, it is a brilliant album. Now, there's one interesting track on this as well, that he's also done a cover version. He added some extra lyrics and rearranged it of Eric McCusker's version of State of the Heart. An excellent album, so watch out for it. Let's have a look of the, of the single that's off this, and it's called Celebrate Youth. Rick Springfield. What? Well, it's roaring up the uh, United States charts and it's going to be a big one, both album and single. As I say, please give it a careful listen because I'm sure you'll love it. Let's have a look at the US top five for this week. And at number five is... Uh, Sade with Smooth Operator. Oh, what a lovely lady. At number four, Harold Faltmeyer, Axel F. All right there, Gavin, are you? Yeah, yeah I'm fine. That Good. was well done. Fault of mine. She, like number this. three, Tears for Fears. Everybody wants to rule the world, and it's dedicated to Jimmy, uh, you know who. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Simple Minds, don't you forget about me, and he won't either. Number two. No, number one, they can't do anything wrong. Wham, everything she wants. 
Well, I'll tell you what, there's a few female fans out there that still haven't got it yet. They, they want George and they want him to come around for dinner, don't they? Now, I was talking about Eric McCusker before and guess what? Men Mondo Rock have got their new album out. It's called Up To The Moment and the title track from this is called The Moment, Mondo Rock. Let's have a look at it. Great song. All right, now listen, uh, last week also, uh, and I was a little bit annoyed about this, I might add, uh, about certain references in the paper that thought that me asking Julian Lennon to sign the uh, Beatles album uh, was of a bit of bad taste. Well, let me tell you right now, Julian was blown out about that, and all I can uh, just sum it up as is that you probably didn't know the Beatles. Let's. Um, Let's leave it at that. All right, now, the other tribute I paid last week on the on the awards was to a guy called Wayne DeGrucci. He's, uh, uh, I mean, he's, I oh, just list them off. I mean, ACDC, uh, John Paul Young. I mean, everyone you could almost imagine in the Australian rock scene, Wayne has had something to do with. And he also had everything to do with the fact he came up to me about three or four months ago and, and said, <clears throat> in your humdrum, you have the US top five and the UK top five, you don't have an Australian top five. So how about it? So here it is, the Australian top five. And Wayne, wherever you are, hey. Number five, Dynamic Hypnotics with Gotta Be Wrong. And number four, look at them, medals. With You're So Strong, they're gonna rip up the charts with Live It Up, I tell ya. Number three, Kids in the Kitchen, their album is out this week. Something That You Said, we'll talk about them next week. And number two, oh my God, where's this come from? Annie and Kenny Exman, Brian and the boys with 50 years. Oh, they're doing it. And the models still remain at number one. Great performance last week, fellas, with Barbados. Oh, I tell you what, it's... Oh, stop it, Kevin. It, it puts me off sometimes. Now, listen, Men at Work have finally put it on vinyl. They're back on the charts already, roaring up the American charts already. Got a new single out. The album's about to come out. And guess what? Like Wham, <laughs> Men at Work are about to do two concerts in China. Now, I'm not sure how this is all going to turn out. I just hope no one freaks out on the aeroplane. But here is Men at Work with everything I need. <laughs> 